Well, part of how we know that we really trust God is how we deal with all the uncertainty in our lives. Right? There was a lot of uncertainty in the lives of these widows. And so how do we deal with the uncertainty in our own lives? Because there's definitely a lot of it out there in the world today, right? And we like to be in control of things, and we like to be in control of our lives, especially if we're control freaks. The fear of uncertainty and what all that might mean for me and my well-being and my security and that of my family, all of that threatens our sense of, of, of control. But the fact of the matter is that we can't control everything that goes on in our lives, much less what goes on in the rest of the world. But we both as individuals and as a society, we try nonetheless so that we can ease our sense of powerlessness in the face of uncertainty. But on a personal level, what are, what are the most popular things that we use for a security blanket against fears of uncertainty? We like to insulate ourselves from the fears of uncertainty with money, for example. All right, we like to think that money takes care of all things, and yes, having money does indeed solve a lot of problems of material need. We also think having an abundance of things can insulate us from the fears of uncertainty. If this is the primary driving force of our life, what do those fears also do? It promotes self-absorption. It looks, uh, it makes, um, promotes looking at life as a zero-sum game uh, and the attitudes of us versus them and to heck with y'all, I gotta look out for myself first even to the extent where, as we saw, there were uh, people buying stockpiles of staples, uh, not because they needed them, but so they, they could resell them for a profit. Remember that? So having our lives be dictated by fears and our false security blankets make the world less human. Right? Having our life dictated by fear makes the world less human. Now, did God create us to live life to be dictated by our fears? No, of course not. I mean, what did Jesus say over and over and over and over again? Be not, yeah, be not afraid, do not fear. God did not create us to live out of fear. He created us to live out of freedom and to be moved by love, right? He made love the principal driving force of our life. At all costs, he, made, he wants that to be the principal driving force of our life, just like, as it was for him, as he showed us what it means to be human. So is it the principal driving force in your life? Is it in mine? I have to examine myself every day and ask that question, right? To love and to be loved is the very purpose of our lives, and nothing should get in the way of that. Our fears should not get in the way of efforts to cultivate a civilization of love. 